A judge in Sanford, Florida, has ruled that there is enough evidence to hold George Zimmerman on charges that he murdered Trayvon Martin. Zimmerman appeared in court today, the first time we've seen his face or heard his voice since the night he called police to say that there was a suspicious person in his gated neighborhood. The case started a national debate over race, self-defense, and the fairness of the justice system. Mark Strassman has an interview with Zimmerman's attorney, but his story starts in the courtroom. Mr. Zimmerman? Yes, sir. Zimmerman's procedural hearing lasted less than three minutes. He's being held without bond and spoke only twice. And you are represented by Mr. O'Mara, is that true? Yes, sir. Mark O'Mara is an experienced Orlando career trial lawyer and former prosecutor. He took Zimmerman's case yesterday, free of charge, and met his client for the first time last night. First impression, 28-year-old guy facing second-degree murder charge. Yes. He's just scared. Frightened. He's very frightened. Um, anyone would be. The fact that he has been reviled in, in the press and, and the reasons for it over the past several weeks, literally could not walk down the street. Um, no, you know, complete fear for his safety. And now to know that he is facing charges that could put him in prison for life. Um, yeah, how could you not be frightened? O'Mara did not ask the judge to release Zimmerman on bail because he thought it would stir up public fervor, but he anticipates making the request. Make the case for him. Why does he deserve Bond? Bond is there to make sure the person comes back to trial. Bond is not there for pretrial punishment. Quite honestly, if George Zimmerman was going to run, probably would have happened in the past several weeks. We will fight just as hard in this case. Yesterday, Special Prosecutor Angela Corey announced she was charging Zimmerman with second-degree murder. Today in court, the prosecution outlined its case in an affidavit. It claims Zimmerman disregarded the police dispatcher when he instructed Zimmerman not to follow the teenager. Zimmerman got out of his vehicle and followed Martin, who tried to run home. It also says Sabrina Fulton, Martin's mother, identified screams heard in the background of a 911 call as her son's. Zimmerman's legal defense will rely on Florida's so-called stand-your-ground law. It gives people wide latitude to use deadly force rather than retreat if they feel reasonably threatened for their lives. Martin's mother had demanded Zimmerman's arrest for the last six weeks. This is just first base, so we have a, 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 a long journey in order to finish what we set out to do, and that's to get justice for Trayvon. Are you concerned you can get a fair trial anywhere? I'm, I'm concerned about it. Um, I'm going to trust the process like I'm asking everybody else to. If along the way I find that there has been so much negative publicity or so much vitriol about the situation that we can't, we'll have to deal with it. Mark Strassman is joining us now in Sanford, Florida. Mark, this is a high-profile defendant. What sort of conditions is he being held in tonight? Scott, the sheriff here won't uh, discuss jail security very much, but we do know that uh, for his protection, Zimmerman is living alone in a cell bill for two, and without bail, he'll be behind bars for the foreseeable future. His next scheduled court appearance is on May 29th. Scott, that's about seven weeks from today. A long road ahead. Mark, thanks very much.